Winner gets a kiss wherever you want. I'm not super, like, PDA, to be honest. You know where, where I'm going to have you kiss first. Hey guys, and welcome back to Little Black Buck. You know what time it is. Take time, baby. Take time. Uh, hold on. That's probably too much. Hey guys, and welcome back to Little Black Buck. You know what time it is. Talking to you guys, obviously, about Married at First Sight. We're talking to you guys about Karen and Miles, um, and also breaking down the fact that obviously, does Karen really like Miles? Why is she so distant? Let's break it down. Obviously, the latest episode, I'm uh, going to break it a little bit down and we'll give you a full review another day. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification of the uploads. And for those of you who are returnees, well, <laughs> you got the minerals, you got the minerals. And don't forget as well, make sure you grab one of the hoodies, you know, send them back to the manufacturer. Don't play with me. Don't play games around here. You understand? <laughs> we don't play games around here. All right, cool. Um, let's talk about it. So, Dealing with Mar uh, Miles and Karen, I think what we got is, I call it a ticking time bomb, okay? Um, and a ticking time bomb we really hear is that, will Miles' patient, uh, patience uphold to Karen's slowness of attraction um, in terms of intimacy towards Miles? The last episode, we got to see Miles asking more questions and being more potent towards Karen, which ruffled up a few feathers on her particular side. Um, and in this particular episode, I, I just watched a clip um, we see them out in the park, um, you know, Amelia and Bennett and obviously Miles and Karen and they're playing a little ball game. Now, what I want to understand about this is that I think the reason why a lot of us are frustrated by Karen isn't because, you know, we don't, uh, isn't because we are wanting a fast pace. But what we are wanting is communication dialogue and also, uh, I guess, some show and tell of, uh, of affection. Now, like I said, because of the start of Karen's, uh, uh, you know, because of Karen's initial words about how he, she found him too emotional and she's carried that right through every single episode right to the, up, to the last episode we watched previously where she mentioned about never having encountered a man like him where he's able to express his emotions I think we see in this particular episode where um, again, we're seeing the the inability of Karen to be able to really allow herself to be free. Now, she does try, and I think that is where we have to, I have to put my hands up and say, listen, okay, I am seeing some level of trying. But Woo! Here's the thing. Remember, okay, that originally I said to you guys in I think it was two episodes back where she was sitting on his lap and that was obviously a game, all right? That was a, that was a gang, uh, a truth or dare. She sat on his lap and then obviously a kiss came and obviously they kissed on the lips and I said to you, listen, look, yeah. Now, in the cutscene, they had kissed in a pitch, they had kissed whatever in a cutscene, right? Now, surely the kissing part of things, they should be comfortable with now, right? Or are we still doing opportunity kisses? Right? Because that's what it looks like at the moment. Right at the moment, it's opportunity kisses. Okay, forget every other intimacy, but at the moment, it seems like opportunity kisses. Right? And we're going to deal with that because there's some behaviours that I saw, even from Miles, that he's having to adapt his, uh, his, um, his angle at the way he's coming at the situation completely. When he has to use Bennett at the very, very end to get a kiss on the lips. Does a man have to do that much to get a kiss on the lips when the girl likes him? And so that's what I think where a lot of us are feeling frustrated. We can see that mm, girl saying it's slow, but really and truly, my friend, you've gone backwards. <laughs> like you kissed him in that tooth and dare, which was because of a dare. And we saw the cutscene where you kissed. But actually, truly, is there really that kind of chemistry for you to be doing that with him? I don't think you're actually feeling the man, man like that. Do you get me? But Ooh, I'm never washing my forehead again. You mm. should, because it's pink. Let's break it down. Um, the initial thing, obviously, the game, and I think the producers got involved in it. The initial game, which was that um, whoever loses gets a kiss or whatever, whatever they want to change the stakes or whatever, right? Um, and so the initial phase, the faces of Karen and Miles, lets you know how awkward this conversation is already, right? This conversation is awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe winner gets a kiss wherever you want. I'm not. So the conversation is awkward. Why is the conversation awkward? It's awkward because they haven't fully realized and actualized what intimacy looks like from here on outwards. Miles wants more. Karen wants something. You know what I mean? Um, and so 
Uh, you can see by their faces, Miles has got a stiff lip. He's looking at, uh, he's leaning into Bennett. Like, yo, what you trying to plan? Like, yo, bro, like, and it looks awkward from his side. That lip that he's giving lets you know already that he's, he knows it's awkward right now because, bro, we, 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 you know what we, you don't know what we face behind the scenes, right? And then you get, obviously, Karen's situation where, um, hold on, we're still filming, yeah. Uh, and then we get, obviously, Karen's situation uh, where, obviously, she also is looking up like, like, really? Like, y'all going to play me like that? Do you know what I mean? So, again, these are the little inclinations that we're seeing that someone is not really feeling somebody. Now, someone obviously mentioned Jamie and Doug from the earlier seasons. I, haven't, I didn't watch their season, so I don't really know what they're about. And listen, let's not get it twisted. There are once in a while, there are people that will try to see it out. Like, and, and will make it work, even though they never liked the person at the very beginning. Let's be honest, it does happen, whatever. But we're only highlighting what we see on the screen. We can only go by what we see on the screen. And what we're seeing on the screen right now don't correlate with what the person is... I mean, it does correlate. In fact, it does correlate with what Karen has said. She ain't feeling the brother. He's not masculine enough. He's not this and not that. Do you get me? So we're seeing that in the episode. So when obviously then they begin to bowl and, you know, the losses start to come. And, you know, uh, he kisses Karen on the nose. You know, uh, well, the first kiss actually was at the first kiss was actually on his forehead, and she had to cover his eyes and then kiss him on the forehead. Again, for me, it's just it's childish. It's childish. Like yo, like what are we doing? You know what I mean? Like you're covering man's eyes to get a kiss on the forehead. Like yo, are we nine? Like Never watched my. You said earlier on you're an adult, but the way you're dealing with things is making me feel like a young kid. You understand? Now, obviously, I know she said earlier on the episode that, you know, she's looking to do more and be a bit more, I guess, intimate, um, you know, um, in this particular episode, well, in this particular um, aspect. So let's give her that, let's give her that, that, that benefit of the doubt that she says she's going to try and do more. And we are seeing a bit more. She, you know, she kissed him on the forehead. She just put her hands over his eyes. I mean, I mean, we can't complain about, about progress. All right. We're progressing. It's just really Really, really slow. Now, Miles is obviously not a stranger to that slowness either because he said that obviously he waited for a girl for two years and never had sex until after they actually had sex. That's what he said in Unfiltered. Now, I'm not sure what that is about. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, so, um, and then obviously, again, another kiss was that, you know, uh, you know, there's a kiss that was on the nose that he gave her. Um, and then there's that one point where he actually uh, hugged her from behind and I thought he was going to go for a little cheek kiss. Because the way his face angled around, I thought, brother, that's a, you, you, you're making a move, bro. Are you, you sure you called that? Is she called that? And, and one of the things I realised is that, that, you know, when you're not on the same wavelength like this, yeah, um, on, this, on any subject, it can become very techy in terms of how to behave. You want to be yourself. You want to do you. You want to behave like your normal self. But you're having to overthink everything because you're scared of what reaction may come from your partner. Now, because obviously you want to feel safe, you want to feel comfortable, you want to feel loved, you also want to, you don't want to obviously offend your partner. It can make you step back a little bit, right? So even then, when that should have been a kiss. You hugged her from there and you put your head around. That should have been a kiss on the cheek, but you couldn't do it because you had to double think. And that's where the issues may start. You see, it's not the fact that she, it's not the fact that she doesn't want to be just intimate. It's the communication aspect of it. We'll communicate about sex when we get there. Well, brother, it's not just sex. It's about the whole intimacy phase. Do you feel what I'm saying? Um, and so when you see that, it's like, yo, okay, cool. Now mama has to really... Like, how do you, again, how can he take the lead when he's having to double think and overthink every move he makes because he doesn't want to offend you? Sweet, delicious. Ooh. But you're the winner. <laughs> At one point, you're now saying, listen, you felt unsafe. You know what I mean? Yeah, so like a brother cut a brother some slack, you know what I mean? And, and then obviously at the very end when he threw the ball and obviously collected, um, you know, the win. What was interesting for me is the fact that he had to use Bennett to get this kiss. Do you know how wild that is? No, no, deep it, yeah? How wild that is. When you have to use a third party to get something that a couple should naturally do. Deep how wild that is. The brother had to be intelligent, or I should say even smart, had to be street wise, use another brother, use an external factor to get his girl who's in a relationship with him to kiss him. 
Do you see how mad that is? Because now man has to think about different ways to get this to work in his favour. Do you feel me? Um, you know, she didn't feel unsafe then, did she? Maybe she wanted to kiss, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking a mic, by the way. I'm just kind of saying that, look, you know, you, 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 again, I hate mixed messages. Sending me mixed messages. You know what I mean? We, we hate that. We want to see consistent messages. So keep it 100. Keep it the same energy. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and so when obviously, um, when obviously then, uh, you know, after that happens and it then eventually, and even that kiss was awkward, right? Because like, um, you know, at first he was kind of leaning. He was like, actually, no, do you know what? 90-10, like, yo, it's actually you kissing me, like, do you know what I mean? You lost the band a bit. But even that, the fact that she was going to rest and let him kiss her, it, it can be taken in two ways. One, she wanted him to take control of the kiss and was expecting him to take control of the kiss. Or two, again, you know, she really didn't want to kiss. And again, it's a laid back approach. Um, and, you know, saying like, again, it's forced kind of behavior to kiss him on the lips. Come on. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, I'm a, no, 90 10. <laughs> 90 10. Now, let's do in part one. If it is number one and she wanted him to take control, again, if you don't communicate that, brother, I'm not taking advantage of you. You just said oh, you felt unsafe. You got angry about the calendar situation. You got annoyed about the intimacy conversation. What, you know what I mean? You're not giving me no room to lead anything. So, to be honest, if you were expecting me to come over there and kiss you, my friend, you got another thing coming. Communicate that. Let me know. You understand? All right, cool. Second part. Um, if it isn't and she was being more laid back because she didn't want to kiss him, we still got a problem. Right? Because this girl is still not where she needs to be, where it should be comfortable enough for you to kiss somebody. You know what I mean? Like, it don't take two weeks to work that out, bro. Like, I'm going to be real with you. And the reason why it doesn't take that long is because when sexual attraction is really there, yo, uh, yo, let me be very frank with you, yo, man. People, even virgins be kissing, man. Like, and the reason why they don't want to kiss is cause, probably because they're nervous, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on, like, it, you know what I mean? And again, communicate that. Because we are yet to hear the communication. We are yet to hear the communication. You know what I mean? We are yet to hear the reason why. And so that's, that for us, I think, is the biggest thing. So, again, I want to give Karen props, though, because she didn't leave the game. She continued her onwards and she played and she kissed. So let's give her the props there. Let's just keep, let her, let her keep going. We want to keep pushing, Karen. You can make it. You understand? You go and do it, girl. You know what I'm saying? Power to the people. Guys, now I know fix my sea strange. So let me know from out of order for stepping to you this way. All right, I appreciate you guys saying lots. Stay loaded. You already know what time it is, baby. It's you got the minerals, you got the minerals.